Harvey has been charged with criminal charges dating back to an alleged sexual assault in January of 2004. The prosecutor at the time refused to file charges against Bill Cosby because he felt that there was insufficient evidence. However, the new prosecutor in um, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, has decided that there is sufficient evidence and will proceed with a criminal uh, case against Bill Cosby. Now, um, just to give you some more details on this, the case involves a woman by the name of Andrea Constant, who apparently met Bill Cosby at Temple University when they were both uh, involved with the university. Now, uh, Kevin Steele, who is the prosecutor in this case, is saying that, hey, you know what, maybe at the time there wasn't enough evidence, but I said that if I got elected into this position, which he did, I would make it a priority to look into this case to ensure that there is justice. Now, lucky for him, there was the new evidence of the unsealed uh, records or the unsealed deposition where Bill Cosby had admitted to purchasing quaaludes with the sole intention of giving it to women that he wanted to have sex with. And so that new information made it possible for this prosecutor to go after him. So. Okay, hey, so what are your thoughts on this? You know, all of them are just lying. They just want attention and money. He probably just felt her up and she's overreacting. Yeah, you're probably right, but what if they're telling the truth? Well, they're just blaming him because he's black and they're trying to ruin his great reputation. I thought you were an ally. No, well I am, but never mind. And besides, some of the women were drinking. Why wouldn't Bill Cosby think they wanted to sleep with him if they were gonna go ahead and get drunk like that? Yeah, um, I actually, I don't wanna have this conversation right now. Can we go do something? Sure. It's been 10 years. 10 years since I last felt his unwanted hands. 10 years since I last felt his wheezing breath. And 10 years since I last felt his clenched muscles on my skin. I think about it every day, but with each one passing, it never gets any easier to comprehend. I have no visible scars, but I remember from each penetration, the sharpest knife in my kitchen drawer stabbing me from the inside, leaving me bent over to mend the concealed cut solo. So who will believe me when I say, he hurt me? Because sometimes I don't believe me either. They have taught me too well never to speak without proof because girls are little bitches who learn from their deceitful mothers. So my tiny screams are left unheard my tiny tears are left untouched and my tiny life is left broken. Because I know there are no police and no doctors who can tell what happened to me. There are no lawyers and no judges who can fight for what happened to me. And there are no brothers and no mothers who can erase what happened to me. And there will be no police. No doctors, no lawyers, no judges, no brothers, not even my own fucking mother who will know what happened to me. Only me. So who will believe me? How can I come out about it now? It's been 10 years. 10 years too late. I have no visible proof, no evidence on my body to show. The only proof I have is this feeling, disgusting terminal feeling deep within. I tense and I am tense, <laughs> I tense and I am left dismantled with every traumatic replay. This man has more money and more power than I ever will. So who will believe me? Look at Bill Cosby. Nobody believed those victims, so then who will believe me? Look at all the other victims who found no justice, so then who will believe me? Look at my own mother. Believe me, at night I know I'm far away from him, but that does not stop the persistent nightmares from haunting me. How can I make it go away? How will I ever find peace within my own mind? I live this reoccurring scene inside my head like a, re like a, <laughs> like a reoccurring scene inside my head that I cannot hit escape. Maybe finding justice for all survivors and for all survivors to come will help me escape this injustice. But then again, who will believe this 10 years too old story? It's already hard enough for victims to stand up for themselves. If you're a victim of sexual assault or know someone who has been affected by sexual assault, if you are able to stand, please stand up to speak up.